and a closer look at the Tuscaloosa City Schools study on how many students are living in the tornado recovery area. We're glad you're with us. I'm Lynn Brooks. And I'm Terry Brewer. Up first tonight, thousands of people are turning out across West Alabama today to show their support for the Chick-fil-A fast food chain. We're now in our top story at 5 o'clock. Crowds gathered inside and out. Local Chick-fil-A restaurants in Tuscaloosa and Northport during a busy lunch hour. Police were on site to help handle the traffic. This after the president of Chick-fil-A said he backs the, quote, biblical definition of a family and does not support gay marriage. Some customers told us they waited for two hours just to get their food and show their support, not just for their love of the famous chicken sandwich, but for the company's right to free speech. If there were any crowd that you want to be stuck in the sweltering heat with, it's this bunch of folks around here. Why is that? That's because this is the real America. The values that these people represent are the same values that we have. So that's why I hope, I hope this is happening all over the country. Chick-fil-A is passing out water now to all these people that's been standing in line. So just want to say thanks. Opponents of the company's stance are planning Kiss, for more, kiss more Chicks for Friday. They're encouraging people of the same sex to show up at Chick-fil-A restaurants around the country and kiss each other. We'll have much more on Chick-fil-A Day tonight at 6. On your education watch, adequate yearly progress results are in for public schools. AYP measures proficiency rates in reading and math. Schools must also meet an attendance rate in the elementary and middle schools, and high schools are also measured by their graduation rates. We start with a look at the Tuscaloosa City Schools. Officials say the system made AYP status this year. 12 of 13 elementary schools met 100% of their goals. Alberta Elementary School did not meet AYP. Five of six middle schools met their goals. Westlawn Middle School did not meet their goals for special education students. None of the high schools met 100% of their goals, but they did show improvement in their graduation rates. All high schools will offer supplemental education services to interested students. It's probably no more, it's just that hard work of just looking at teaching and learning, looking at data, asking tough questions, getting in the classrooms. Um, providing support for teachers because a lot of this is not so much the emphasis that it's not so much that what's happening in the classroom is not happening it's sometimes what's in the emphasis of the school system. Tuscaloosa County Schools also released its yearly report today. School officials say the system made AYP and since they made progress over the last year, the system is now in school improvement delay. 17 elementary schools, four middle schools and one high school made AYP in all indicators. Eight schools did not make AYP. They are listed on your screen right now. Officials say even though these schools did not make overall AYP, they all made substantial improvement from last year. Davis Emerson Middle and Holt High School will begin offering free after school tutoring and Holt High will also offer school choice. The Chamber of Commerce of West Alabama's adopt a school program for the new school year is now underway. Educators from the Tuscaloosa County and City School System Systems joined with community leaders today at University Church of Christ. It's all part of their annual Adopt a School Breakfast. Adopt a School Program Director Lou Whitfield told us the breakfast is a great time for the schools and business leaders to interact. It's an opportunity for the um, businesses to get together, to network with each other, but the schools to get together, network with the businesses, and um, we have. We hope we. Our goal is to offer. Um, information about programs that would be um, a good resource for our adopt -to school or our partners in education programs. Coming up at 6, hear from partners in the adopt -to school program on how their relationship helps students in Tuscaloosa County. Now an update on the rebuilding process of some of the schools damaged in the April 27th tornado. The Tuscaloosa City School Board says it's ready to submit the designs for the new University Place Elementary and Middle Schools for state approval. But time is ticking to make sure students have a school to go to by August 2013. According to school officials, architects need to get plans sent in sooner than later to prevent any holiday delays. Mother Nature could also play a factor, especially if outdoor construction doesn't end before the winter months. <coughs> officials say they hope construction will be complete by July 2013. 
Plans include a safe room that could withstand 250 mile per hour winds. Tuscaloosa County Commissioners are taking another look at expanding bus routes. If approved, six new stops will be added to the existing 18 stop route through the whole community and another new route named Phase 2 would run through the west side of Tuscaloosa. That one would stop in parts of Northport as well. Commissioner Reginald Murray told us the project would take about a year to go into action if it's approved. Provided the, uh, the results are positive, then, then you move into uh, applying for the grant and then, then ordering a bus, which takes uh, the bulk of the time. Uh, so it's like about a 12-month process uh, that we'll be dealing with. Officials tell us the Phase 2 stops in Northport would include Unity Baptist Church, King Acres, Palmore Park, Culver Road, and 52nd Street. If approved, buses would run every hour on the hour. On your Crime Watch, it's your chance to help fight crime in West Alabama. Information you have may be the missing link investigators need to catch a suspect. Here is this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Hello, my name is Ted Sexton, the Sheriff of Tuscaloosa County. Thanks to your help and WVUA, four captures in this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Donnie Hill was arrested on the charge of violation of the Sex Offender Notification Act, Capture 409. Amanda Green was arrested on the charge of chemical endangerment of a child. Anthony Hyatt also arrested on the charge of chemical endangerment of a child. And Cheryl Dockery arrested on trafficking in methamphetamine and other charges. Thanks to your help, that's a total of 412 captures. Now we need your help this week in finding more of Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Justin Lyle Hewitt is wanted on the charge of fraudulent use of credit card and other charges. He's a white male, 21 years of age, 5'8", 130 pounds, with brown hair, green eyes, last known to be living on South Rosser Road in Tuscaloosa. James Lorenzo Woodward, wanted on the charge of violation of the Sex Offender Notification Act. He's a black male, 44 years of age, 5'5", 220 pounds, last known to be living on 12 Oaks Lane in Ralph, Alabama. If you have any information on these and others wanted by the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office, please call us at 205-464-8672 or go to our website, www.tcsoal.org. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And working together, we'll continue to make Tuscaloosa County a safer place to live. On your Health Watch, new health benefits for women. Starting today, all new health insurance plans must provide eight preventive health benefits to women for free. For women already in plans with co-pays or deductibles for those services, they'll also be free starting at their plan's next renewal date. It's a requirement of the health care reform law Congress passed in 2010. Some of the benefits include contraceptives, breastfeeding supplies, screenings for sexually transmitted infections, also routine checkups for breast and pelvic exams. But not all insured women will have access to these new services. Certain plans may have grandfathered status and be exempt from offering the benefit.